Hi, students. How are you doing? Welcome to Naya Sim, and thank you all so much for all the love and support. Hope you all are doing great. So I came across this video where Kenya West has something to say about slavery and how it was a choice. And I was like asking myself, where did he get that from? Because some people, anyway, I have always known him to be very loud and all that, but this is actually something I did not expect from him to come out to say. I mean, like how comfortable he sat with uh, colored people, I think TMZ, and was telling them that slavery lasted for 400 years and uh, that it was a choice. And I am asking, whoa, but you've been crying wolf all this while. You've been going through child court study with Kim and Kardashians and all that. And he was always running out on the social media to scream about how rich the system. I mean, like, you know, how they have been treating him and all that. And I am asking, I'm going to ask this. I mean, he is a celebrity. And I think he also got a lot of power to do some certain things, change some certain things, or even stop right to the system, you know? If it were to be choice or slavery to be choice and all that, does it mean that slavery is no longer happening to this very moment? It's been on the low key prison and every other place. And a full grown man is actually out there moving crazy and got the gods to come out to say that uh, it was a choice. And I am going to ask, I really do, I really wish that it was a choice. Moving people from where they were to another place. And you got to tell me it was a choice. Let's get into this. Also represent the world. When you hear about slavery for 400 years, for 400 years, that sounds like a choice. <laughs> like, you was there for 400 years and it's all of y'all? You know, there are just certain pop culture moments that have happened in the past like 10 years that we need to kind of go back to, circle back to, and update. This is one of them. This happened six years ago, which seems absolutely insane to say, but I think we all remember where we were when we heard Kanye West on TMZ screaming about his lipo and also how he said slavery was a choice. When you look at all of the things and all the outbursts that had happened before this specific TMZ interview had taken place this was inevitable kanye west was due for his charlie sheen tiger blood hashtag winning interview he had so many outbursts on the saint pablo tour he was talking about how beyonce's uh, Blue Ivy and North don't play together. He was talking about all his grievances with the Carters in general. Then obviously the tweets about Chris and their family and all of the shit involved in that. But on top of that, even the George Bush doesn't care about black people, which was fucking true, which was fucking true. But the the idea to just be so outspoken, the Taylor Swift, Beyonce, Grammy shit. I mean, there were so many moments that pointed to Kanye West's lack of control over his intrusive thoughts. Now, I had to revisit that clip for the first time in about six years because I just filmed a podcast episode talking about slave rebellions. Now, if you don't know who I am, my name is Madison, the creator behind the Madison One channel. I have a podcast called Bloodstained where I talk about history through the lens of true crime. Season one is all about slavery and episode five is dropping next week and we're talking about slave rebellions. And I thought, what a perfect way to introduce the episode episode by going back in time and watching and talking about this Kanye West outburst. And what I mean by circling back or doubling back to these like pop culture moments that happened in the last 10 years, I'm simply meaning updating the story for everyone to understand it. Because at the time, a lot of Kanye West stands were trying to shoot him some bail saying, we just didn't get it. Our brains were too small. He's a musical genius. You guys are the idiot. Because the truth of the matter is y'all need to be clocked and we need to update this story. So let's update it. Um, in light of that happening six years ago, since then, Kanye West dropped the White Lives Matter t-shirts, continued to openly support Trump. He's had several lawsuits from employees at the Donda School as well as employees at Yeezy. Um, his assistant as well from Yeezy in general, where they have made comments about him being particularly racist against black people, um, specifically in the assistant lawsuit where he was sending her text messages while he was whacking off. He was saying that his 
is racist um and all of those uh weird ass comments and text messages he was sending her in the process so despite what anyone was trying to say about kanye west and trying to defend that statement and saying that wasn't what he really meant we know what he really meant because now we can look back at all the things he's done since then that underscore that he really meant what the fuck he said and we should have taken it right then and there at face value which a lot of us did but a lot of us did not I want to talk specifically about the statement that he said. 400 years of slavery sounds like a choice is what he said. And the the point that I want to make is that that sentiment is not unique. That sentiment is dripping in every way that black people as a population are dealt with under this society. This idea, this hypocrisy that we're constantly dealing with, that we are one, too stupid to understand our material circumstances and work our way out of them, but also the masterminds of everything evil and terrible and dangerous to the United States as a whole, and we are just evil, violent, dangerous people and want to destabilize the government, um, which two can't be true at the same time, you know what I mean? Either we're too stupid or, or we're the evil masterminds, you know, pick one. But when you start to hear certain like black billionaires or black capitalists speak on the black community, you kind of hear this sentiment dripping in the subtext of what they say when they reference the black community in our material circumstances. They're always talking about how we don't own stuff and how we spend our money here and how we do this and how we do that. And all of that to me has the origin story in the sentiment that Kanye was trying to discuss in that TMZ interview, just being pissed off at his own people for being slaves and not as pissed off at the white people for making us slaves, it just never makes sense to me. Because the truth is, slavery 100% was a choice. You know what I mean? We gotta keep a spade a spade. Slavery was a thousand percent a choice, but it wasn't a choice made by African people. That was a choice made by white people. Yeah. If you are interested in listening to the podcast episode, it is coming out early next week, so get into that. Link in the bio to catch up on all the old episodes. It's on Apple Podcasts as well as Spotify, and there's also a visual component on my YouTube channel, so be sure to check that out. Also, subscribe to my Substack. It's super fun. We talk about a bunch of shit over there. Get into it. I'm also doing reviews or reactions, rather, of slave movies on my paid tier. It's $5 a month, so get into that. Um, yeah link in the bio for all that info but yeah slavery was a choice Kanye West so this is all I got from that video and uh, it's really amazing how some people you know open their mouth and they so like he says slavery was a choice right and uh, and you all remember when he was um, fighting custody battle with uh, Kim Kardashian and all that and he was uh, screaming right to the system right so that is it too and uh, this truth is that slavery was never by choice and uh, or implies a, it's a lack of choice you know um, black people never chose that Black people did not ever, ever, they didn't even ever wake up and uh, imagine their lives being like, you know, or or like, you know, being taken away from where they are to another place, you know? And um, they did not choose to live in the condition they lived. All the things that happened to them was not something that was planned, you know. It was a circumstance that led to one thing to another to another, and they found themselves there, and they could not overpower because they outnumbered them, <clears throat> you know. <clears throat> so for somebody to wake up to say it was because it was for four thousand years or four thousand four hundred years or whatever, for, sorry, four hundred years that it was a choice. It's a lie because Kenya West, with all his power and all that, I am I not expecting him to change some certain things? Like you know, he's a celebrity, right? I'm I expected him to change some certain things. Mm-hmm. Why is he not doing enough for black community or the world in general? Because if you come out, he could come out to tell us that it was a choice. 
I guess he has a lot of choices too to do some certain things and also probably to stop right the season that has been happening, you know. He could be part of it. I mean, he has the power. He has the power, right? So it's really crazy how, and it's amazing how people still wake up to support him. But yeah, it is what is it is. I don't know, but it's really crazy, you know. It's uh, it's not what I don't know. He really made me. He actually made me nervous, but then he did not. And also Madison, the person that I was talking about, made me nervous. Not until I watched to the end also that I understand and got where she was uh, going to and the rest of it. So really, one thing that annoys me about Kenyan West is that he will just say slavery is a choice, but he cry races when, you know, when, whenever that it happens to him and the rest of it. So if it was a choice, also he should also embrace the words of the season that has been happening to him towards his children and all that that should also be a choice too because some people wake up and just open their mouth and they start running i really don't have a lot to say here but you all already know how wide can your waist mouth is and all that but it is what it is see you all in my next video bye for now